So you're here starting pre-algebra. Well, let me cut to the chase. So, yeah. Pre, pre, oh, je, bra, pre algebra. Ah, uh, that's too good. Um, so pre algebra. It's the thing you do before algebra. It's basically like your normal fifth grade thing. What you do in fifth grade, like that kind of stuff. Um, and so you're in sixth grade, I think, maybe fifth, maybe, maybe fifth, you might be in fifth, but so in fifth grade, assuming that you're in sixth grade or earlier in fifth grade, but whatever, in fifth grade, we know that you learned X Like two squared three to the fifth power four and let me calculate that. Twenty seven sixty sorry. Two hundred and forty three. That kind of stuff. You know, basic exponents. But in pre algebra we're going to learn more than just the basics of exponents, that kind of stuff. We're going to learn more than that. This is what you do before algebra, right? This is building up to algebra. Like when you were doing in fourth grade, like you were built, like in fifth grade, you're building up to sixth, what you do in sixth grade, right? The kind of stuff. Same thing here. You're building up to what you do in seventh and eighth and ninth and you might even do it in college, linear algebra, which is something you'll hear way later, way later in life. Same with me, a lot later. So, you're doing, yeah, exponents. Now, there's a harder kind of exponents. There's negative exponents. So if you like used, so if you like did, yeah, two to the negative second, Taking two to the second. Let's see. Let's try that. So you're going to be doing negative exponent. So, oh, I have a pencil in here. Or no, a pen. Thank you. Where is that thing? So, negative exponents. Negative numbers, right? Yeah, so. Look, it doesn't go into negative numbers, sorry. So you're going to go into fractions actually with negative exponents you'll see watch so for negative exponents you start with doing 2 squared equals 4 then when you add the negative sign to the exponent you got 2 squared equals 4 then you do 2 to the negative second what does that equal well the negative sign I always say Well, no, I don't. <laughs> well, yeah. So, you put a 1 over always. Every single time. It's 1 over. It's not 2 over. It's not 58 over. It's not 36 over. It's not 2,700 over. It's 1 over. And the number that the two exponents without the negative sign equal. Right? So does that make sense? Like, let's try another. Um, let us try another. Let's do... to the negative fifth, like three to the fifth we did in the last page right here. So three to the negative fifth. We'll do three to the fifth, which we learned in the last page was two hundred forty three. Yeah. So three to the fifth equals two f equals two forty three. And then what do we do? Because the negative sign. Well, we put a one over it, right? 
So 1 243rd. That's the answer. No one ever writes these in decimals because it gets too hard to do all that stuff. Like decimal division, it is the most impossible thing. And you have to, and depending on how you do it, you might have to do that. So, and if anyone does that, if you do that, you know how hard it is. I do too. I hated that when I did it. It was my least favorite thing, but no, I love math, so. As you saw on my about page, I heart math. So, we're going to go farther into this, like, do negative exponents to negative powers, like negative 2 to the negative second. We're going to get into that stuff, and also we're going to get into negative exponents to normal powers. To, I mean, negative numbers to normal exponents, like that. And then we're going to get into roots, like principal square roots, and just square roots in general. We'll get into all that stuff in later videos. So, bye, see ya, and watch more videos at Jack K Math. Uh, Jack K Math dot word. Press dot com. See that? Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't fit. Sorry, that's my brother, and we'll wrap it up for now.